false memory is a psychological phenomenon where a person recalls something that did not happen or that something happened differently from the way it happened. False memories can sometimes be shared by multiple people. In 2010, this was dubbed the Mandela Effect by self-described paranormal consultant Fiona Broome in reference to a false memory she recorded of the death of South African leader Nelson Mandela in the 19th One of the recommendations from a Julia, I'll keep her just as that, uh, suggested a few that was like, okay, they're obviously going to be poor that pertains to, I know uh, one of them is just Super Mario 64 horror. I'm not sure about that. But Ooh. one did stood out amongst the, su the suggestions this person did because here's what she, here's what the, she, she said. I love when you do analog horror, speaking as someone who is always looking for more but doesn't care about Monument Mythos or Moderna Catalog or anything related to Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. These, these those seem to be the most popular. So, one of these suggestions is a six-part small series with a few extra tidbits of video that we can take a look at called Angel Hair. Okay. Which is about this kid rediscovering a small series, a Christian-based series, that somehow seems to be different than what they remember. It plays into a bit of the Mandela effect, which you know, I kind of hate because most of the popular examples is obvious logo changes. But this it one... This one has a different take on it. And uh, I pretty much skimmed through these, but we're gonna actually officially watch this shit. All right. I found something. My childhood memories are spotty and few. But yesterday I found something. Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this tape at a thrift store. It overwhelmed me with feelings of comfort. This show was my comfort, my escape. But when I put it to tape, it wasn't the same. So last night I dug up our recorded copies so that I could show you. VHS copy. Oh, Angel Gabby. <laughs> Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Oh, have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. That's okay, Francis. Meeting new people doesn't have to be scary. Just introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? That's a beautiful name. It's wonderful to meet oh, you. Oh God, and it's I got the same format friends. as Door the Explorer. Fear yep. should never control you, Francis. I'll show you how to meet someone new. First, you introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabriel. What's yours? It's wonderful Angel to meet Gabriel? you, Jonah. I hope I can be a good friend to Jonah. I thought I remembered the show having a main character named Jonah. It was special because my name is Jonah, too. Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's great. Sharing something important lets others learn about what makes you special. If I didn't have these recordings... Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's a great book. Just like Babe, you can grow up to do whatever you want, Jonah. That's what makes you special. I would think... I was going crazy. The series had six episodes. I had to check them all. I have to remember everything. 
The fucking VHS tapes eating like his soul energy or some shit. I don't like that background music though. That's actually kind of annoying. I really don't think that needed to be there. Tape two. Angel Hair's Cursed Limits Uncut. It gets progressively worse as it goes along, doesn't it? I try to find any information I could about the show. Other versions, really regions, releases. KP Publishing. The distribution company repackaged old kids' shows but went bankrupt in the 90s. Also like good times. The original publisher, though... Wreath of Life. Doesn't show up anywhere. Not online or in business records. Episode 2 differences are no longer subtle. It's a beautiful day, Francis. We shouldn't take it for granted. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. Oh, Francis, it's simple. Faith and hope give us the strength to face every challenge. It may not make us physically strong, but it can give us resolve and fortitude when we need it. I could certainly use some fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why it would be different for me. The sun is warm sometimes, Jonah. But you shouldn't forget the moments when it burns you. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort, and fortitude to be brave during times of heat. I can show you how to be stronger, use some fortitude. even though you're so small. <laughs> I don't know why I was told these things. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. You'll never cross if you give in to despair, friend Francis. Let's follow the stream and look for a narrow crossing. This will do us a lot more good than surrendering to despair. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. I thought it was a game. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. In the darkest times, you must never despair, Jonana. It is our greatest enemy. Strength will be your ally. And I will show you how to be strong. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. We went to a different scene altogether. We feel safest where we go to sleep. Do you want your room to feel safe? I thought it was luck that she always knew what I needed. First, let me show you how you can be stronger than your enemy. Like David's little pebble against Goliath, this little chair is going to be stronger than anyone who comes to your door. If we put it backwards like this, it will be like your own lock and key. Look at that! It's so strong! Now let's get in the closet. The dark can be scary. But it can also be peaceful. Instead of letting the sounds and darkness make you fearful, look at God's blessings and concentrate hard on something you're thankful for. This is how your mind can be strong too. I like to take a big, slow breath to keep me calm. <sighs> Would you like to try? Very good, Jonah. Now you don't have to be scared, even if he finds you. He. My mom and I. I forgot. We weren't always alone. Oh no, bad memories are coming back. Hopefully, he is just like an abusive husband or something and not some fucking demon. But it's probably a demon. We interrupt our tape viewings for some lore with a bonus tape, the first letters. So let's see what these letters are. See if they offer any insight. No, I'm not Angel Gabby. 
she's busy today, so I have the privilege of answering your questions on her behalf. I sure hope I can do a good job for y'all. All right. Our first letter is from Bleeding Heart Doves. She asks if there are any other angel hairs. What a lovely question. Thank you, Bleeding Heart Doves. Personally, I haven't met any angels other than Gabby. She's my dearest friend. My only friend, really. Anyway, there's certainly more angel hairs out there, but they have a lot of responsibilities that keep them very busy. Here's some art I've collected over time of some of Gabby's angel friends. Aren't they lovely? Our next question is from Stephanie. Thanks for writing, Stan. Oh my. She writes, are there any demon hairs? As a matter of fact, there's quite a diverse lexicon of... <laughs> well, uh, she doesn't like me talking about all that. Oh. Sometimes, when Gabby and I get a little giddy together, she'll tell some stories. I sure wish I could share more. But just know that demon hairs don't always appear as plainly as a rabbit with horns. Sometimes they look like an opportunity or a feeling. Well, I'm sure glad you wrote to us, Steph, and Gabby sends her love. Keep writing in, friends. Gabby loves to hear you call. Well, that was very Bye. relevant to the question I asked. <laughs> you motherfuckers, you're reading my mind! That sounds like a jackalope. Jackalopes are demon hairs. <gasps> I'm getting my gun! Okay. I think they're gone. Let's resume our tapes. What big ears you have. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, fuck. Everyone has scars. That's what I was told. My mom says mine were from horseplay as a child. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I know I won't stop digging. Not until everything is clear. Episode three. She broke character mid show. She didn't I'm already do that. Fish, the way you wield that sword. These are nice props to demonstrate God's armor. But remember, Francis, the real sword of the spirit isn't a weapon. Ephesians says it's the sharp wit and powerful depth of His word. Oh, good. I'm no good at fighting actual battles. None not once if he's not coming back for a while. Was she watching? Jonah, you're a very brave and very special one of God's children. No, no, it's it's all right if you weren't listening. Do you remember what we decided to do if you're ever afraid? Is that even possible? I want you to take that off the table very carefully, only holding the handle. It might be heavy. Use both hands. Can you hold it up so I can see what kind it is? I must have talked to her for hours. How do I not remember? Now that we've got the pieces apart, let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them for harm. No, Jonah. Not the kitchen. A lot of people hide things in the kitchen and there's too much traffic for it to be safe. No, not the toy chest in your room. It would be very incriminating. We can learn that word later, but it could get you into trouble. Was nobody Damn. else around for all that time? Good, good. Now, see if you can put the book back in front of it. Wonderful job. Be slow and steady as you climb back down. Was I left completely alone at such a young age? I think the belt of truth doesn't quite fit around me. Does that mean I'm extra honest, or...? I'll always be well, your warrior, case, Jonah. Now... Where did she go? I hope we'll never have to draw a weapon. As a but as your guardian angel? Thank you. What happened to my angel, though? I'll always be ready. I guess she was actually trying to protect him from something. Seems so. I feel like in this area, it's not the VHS tape that's evil. It's whatever he had to deal with that caused this possessed tape to come to him. 
And in particular, this wasn't an entity that wanted to harm him. It wanted to help him. Tape four now. Little white alibis. Shit feels like it could, like, work as a fucking SCP or some shit. It does give off that uh, feel, doesn't it? The angel, uh, the angel hair helps victims of child abuse. <laughs> Because I feel like that's what this is stacking up to. I should be frightened. I should be confused. But only there is calm. And a sense of dread that something happened. That something tore us apart. Episode 4. Am I complicit? I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me. Um, but I shouldn't have lied. No, you shouldn't have. It hurt my feelings that you would take one of my angel feathers. But it hurt me so much more that you would lie about it, Francis. Will you ever forgive me? The Bible tells us to forgive, but Proverbs 19 also warns us about the consequences of lying. Do you think we should forgive Francis now that he's apologized? We should? That's very nice of you. It shows a lot of courage to be merciful toward others. Francis, I forgive you. That's so kind of you, Gabby. She's like a completely different person now. I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me. But I shouldn't have lied. Honesty is important, Jonah. You should always tell the truth. If you know you're going to be in trouble, you should create a truth for later. Will you ever forgive me? Go to a friend's house when something bad happens, and you won't have to lie about it when they ask you later. They are going to ask you what happened, Jonah, so you have to make sure you're gone when the time comes. We have to make sure you only have truth to tell. She was planning my alibi. But for what? I think she helped him kill someone. You can forgive Francis if you want, but it will be difficult to ever trust him again. Revelations warns us of the place prepared for liars. It's up to you, Jonah. What would you like me to do? Bruh. I looked for incident reports in my hometown, but there was a flood at the municipal building. It's, it's, it's all right. Take your time and think about it. It's not an easy decision. Water crews arrived and were able to essentially close no record the survived. Gates, but not before the damage was done. I was thinking the same thing. I'll help you however I can. See, here's why I think the entity's not evil. It gave him a choice not to go through with what he did. Yeah. But ultimately it said, I will support you no matter what you do. See, an evil entity would have, like, tried to manipulate him into killing someone. Kill John Lennon! Kill John Lennon! Kill John Lennon! Kill John Lennon! But... This one didn't. It feels like the angel helped him kill someone who abused him as a child. Like, I, I genuinely believe that's what this story is amounting to. Tape 5... Footage not found. I took a trip back home. Where we first met. I don't want to scare my mom. went to his childhood home. So I haven't told her why I was here. To search for anything from my childhood. I didn't expect to find. So much. Tapes. 
experimenter may try to find out whether he feels oh, public any domain footage about the destruction. When the wind blows, the cradle rocks, the bow breaks, and down come our babies, cradles and all. Children Especially if they have diarrhea. Violent events on television. I have no idea she went down the same road I'm taking. Beginning at one year of age, the child is trying to interpret what he sees, and he feels danger. Get back to your home. That are a little different. I've only scratched the surface compared to her. Whether it's exposure to the television programming itself or the family and social conditions that lead to children spending a lot of time watching it. Unfortunately, if the child does not smile, we cannot infer that he is not comprehending the event. I can't make her revisit this. If it's the programming itself, the burden appears to fall on the film industry. Whatever the combination is, it seems to be a fairly lethal combination. Not until I find out how to find my angel again. One of their neighbors kept on looking for them until they were found. What we did. If placed in a dark room, he would probably open his eyes while searching. There aren't enough pieces to figure out the past. I have to take this into my own hands, here and now. I have to bring her back. The angel Ooh. hair. As an old friend used to say, good night and good luck. He's going to try and bring Angel Hair back to ask her himself what he did. Bro, this shit just got supernatural. I like it. Oh. Bonus tape. Last letters. Just one extra before the final tape. And there's also an extra. So this angel hair story was concluded. A little bit, yeah. Hello there. I'm afraid Angel Gabby couldn't be here today, but she's so thrilled with all the mail that's come in. Y'all are really writing a lot. There's so much of it. I'll do my best to get through as much as I can. I made sure to sift through all the pornography. <laughs> I don't know if she has anything lewd. I probably don't want to know because this is too good of a series just to be, you know, tainted with Rule 34. But fair enough. Oh, but the internet does not make exceptions. I wouldn't be surprised. trying to lure you into trouble. Trust me, even the friendly ones can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. As for other angel animals, let's see, what do we have next? Koi asks if there is anyone in the woods besides the angel and the badger. My, my name is Francis. And Natalia asks if there will be more friends showing up. Well, don't worry, Natalia and Koi. The forest is always buzzing with life. Today's just a little quiet. Okay, next we have a couple letters from Mary Stone and Doom Gamer 3000. What lovely names. Thanks for writing, friends. They ask what Gabby's name Doom is. Doom Gamer 3000. Angels like to come down and help. I think you'll be interested to know that Gabby has a lot of very busy angel friends. They have a lot of work to do all over the world, and their duty is to help those in need. If you keep an eye out, maybe you'll spot your local angel hair hopping around and helping people. Alrighty. Next is a letter from Frog. Frog asks how we get these letters and if we know where they're coming from. What a funny question. We get our letters through the mail like everyone else, Frog. And they come from curious little writers just like you tuning in to watch your friends. Speaking of friends, Phew. our next letter Price is, is averted. Kula. They write, Do you know how you became Jonah's guardian angel? Do you remember anything about Jonah? Inky Lemon asks, how high can Gabby fly? What a funny question. Thanks for writing, Inky Lemon. 
I've seen Gabby fly so high, she uh -oh. just the animation the starts breaking. I don't know how to measure it in units of science, but she certainly is a good flyer. That's all the time we have for today, friends. I appreciate your patience, and I hope you'll stay in touch. It's very comforting to know so many of you want to learn more about Gabby. She loves to hear you call. Goodbye. Gabby didn't like that question. Oh, wait a minute. There's another letter here from a Vinay... 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 He tries to say his own name. Never mind. I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> What did you do, Nathan? Who well, we're gonna find out? Here, 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 here. Tape six, final call. By recordings of her are set in stone. That's a lovely drawing, Jonah. The live broadcast was how she spoke. <laughs> That's silly, Jonah. People can't fly was where she lived. Don't worry. We can stay here as long as you need me to. I had to get her live again. I feel insane, but I'm going to live stream an episode. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm letting her out. Oh no. Setting her free onto the internet. Dangerous. Part of me is desperate for this to not work. We can be dangerous too, Jonah. For this to all be a strange dream. We can keep them away with just our banner. But I have to know for sure. Oh, he's about to do his shit. Angel Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. Hello? Um, Gabriel? <laughs> Angel Gabby? Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. <gasps> oh my god. What? Um, it's, it's me. Jonah, I'm here. Do you remember me? I'm so happy to see you, Jonah. <laughs> Shit, that got animated very well. I guess we can only surmise that. Yeah. The goes alive. Until you call again. Was that the last thing? There was an extra? That basically is an Easter tape called A Hunt and We Will Go. But it was really titled Crack Shells and Shit. Hmm. There was also a playlist of all the music that was also pl was playing in this song, but uh, we're not going to deal with that. We're going to instead take a look at this. Angel Easter. It must have been my first Easter alone. An angel here, Easter. Hello. Happy Easter. He is risen. He is risen indeed, Francis. Are you ready to celebrate this special day with our friends? Oh, yes, Gabby. Only, I'm not sure how. Can you help? Of course. Will you follow along with us? That's great. So how do we start? We start with some eggs. Now we'll be using... Oh no, careful! That's why we'll be using boiled eggs. Let's get a parent to help, okay? No, no, with a parent. Oh, my. She was so patient with me. All right. Now we have everything set up. Let's go over our materials. We have hard-boiled eggs cups full of dyed water, and paint. Now, egg painting comes from an early Mesopotamian metaphor for the Holy Trinity, 
and Christians would paint them red to represent the crucifixion. But today, we can paint whatever we like in all sorts of colors. We can paint whatever we like? Well, I would paint something that matters to you, like a special flower, favorite image, or missing memory. Ooh, fun! Now, first we have to dye the egg to get a base color we can paint on top of. You have to be careful, because dye is a potent stain. So, if you use your spoons to carefully lower your... See, now your hands are going to stay that color. I'm At least for a while. <laughs> Actually, I'll take An infinite? Chances. How about you try another one? The snake oh. eating its oh. tail and shit. <laughs> it had an infinity symbol. She's like, sure, bitch! She just yeets it. Remember that eggs are round, so we have to cover each Like, y'all! You know that Satan <laughs> shit triggers my ass? <laughs> How did this look, Gabby? Make another, Francis. All right. He's really getting pissed <laughs> off that he's making satanic <laughs> eggs. Uh. <laughs> look what I made, Gabby. Black egg with death. I, I'll start again. <laughs> it's okay. The egg itself. You little motherfucker! You quit making cultish eggs. It's surreal to remember this. <laughs> What's important is to remember the message, which is that someone was willing to die to keep you from harm. You can always have faith in that, Jonah. Happy Easter. I want to share with her. So? Angel Gabby! Oh, Angel Gabby! We can laugh about it together. She's gone. Gabby. Did she leave the stream? Angel Gabby. Ooh, that'll be bad. Oh, Angel Gabby. Gabby. I feel like this is going to take a dark turn. It sadly, that's the end of it. I think okay, it pretty she... much already has been dark enough. She's just gone. Huh. Shit. So, yeah. This is the only thing I could surmise. Jonah, with a little help of Gabby, killed an abusive dad. About it, really. Kind of similar to an anime that I ended up seeing. Well, except that in, in that one particular anime. Um, <laughs> dad hmm. killed mother and daughter killed uh, the father hey dad yeah what i want us to become a perfect family damn but yeah yeah that was pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie i'm glad i got recommended this because so yeah. far a lot of the tapes is just trying to creep you out but this one's kind of a fresh take on it. Like you said, it was it, it was this was some sort of like SCP kind of shit. Like it would have been like influencing Where... you to kill. But the entity didn't influence him. The entity tried to protect him. So it's like, I mean, it's basically harmful. To anybody that harms the chosen target? Because, like, it very much seems like he prepped him to murder his abuser. Yeah. Like, holy fuck. And then, apparently, coincidentally, a flood happens that destroys all records of the incident. So that was pretty much one of the alibis that she was able to offer just in case. 
or trying Jeez. to clean up so that way they don't he don't remember that horrible thing of his past. Yeah, basically. So he could like do the horrible deed and move on with his life. Mm -hmm. That kind of stuff where you venture into like a world of uh, the supernatural. Science can't explain it. Any of the basic tools we have can't explain it. You're just thrust into a new reality trying to understand it. Like, I like shows like Supernatural. I like Doctor Who. Honestly, that sounds like it'd be like a pretty cool thing, right? Just being like a person who hunts for the supernatural. Are you sure you want to do this, little girl? I mean, what if... what if we're dangerous? We can be dangerous too, Jonah.